Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia and I go to different restaurants to conduct food reviews. Today we're in a restaurant called Fidili and this is a very interesting place because first of all it's open between Friday and Sunday only so that's three days in the week. When I was having a look and trying to research what places to go this immediately caught my eye because you know a restaurant that's only open three days a week how many times and chances did I get to visit so I decided I want to go and check it out and yeah here I am. One interesting thing about it is when you enter the cafe there's a lot of greenery like green plants some hovering you know pouring from the roof all the way down i've just been sitting here trying to wait for the music to die down so that i can talk about the food I mean, it's such a beautiful place today and I just wanted to discuss more about it, talk about the food, talk about the place. Meanwhile, we have been sprayed by water. Much, much, much later. The reason why I have this sit-down section is because uh, today, today I have, yes, I've been defeated. I went to a restaurant called Fiddle Leaf. The only problem is that the music was so loud and they actually turned it up even louder so i just decided i'm just gonna finish filming if i get a chance to talk i'll talk and then when i get you know i get away from the restaurant i'll sit down and talk more about it anyway yeah so you know i was looking at the menu and deciding what to order the waitress informed me that it's you know it's table service she'll come over and when she did she came and explained a few of the menu items what they were and what they look like you know what I love is the way sometimes they just know that people, especially if you've got a camera, if you're filming, that you want something that looks nice. So she, you know, they do help you pick up the meals that look beautiful on picture. So we did that and I picked something off the menu, many Asian inspired dishes on the menu, which is very good because to have a breakfast that's Asian inspired is such a relief because everything else is always Western inspired. So it was good to have that. When it comes to the drinks, I noticed that there wasn't anything special in terms of anything that looks unique. And I chose to have the ice hot chocolate. So the food, the portion was quite large. In general, I just thought that meal was a sizable amount, which makes it worth it. The dish that I chose is called pakora, and it had the smoked salmon, avocado, Asian inspired red cabbage, vegetable fritters, teriyaki season house hummus, Asian greens, cherry tomato, soft, and a soft poached free range egg. Another thing that happens while you're in there because they've got plants everywhere and they need to water the plants, they've got sprinklers that they've installed um, on their roof, on their ceiling rather. So what happens as you're eating, the sprinklers will start sprinkling water. It's not like a gush of water, just like little bits of water. Obviously to water the plants. I found that very interesting, but my African hair could not handle it for too long. After some time I was like, okay, I need to come out. I need to come and sit outside because you know it starts to get a bit cold in there because it's water and also like it starts to get a bit wet it's not too much it's not really bad but yeah that was very interesting to see okay next thing is the pricing 
I spent a total of thirty dollars. Yeah, so the dish that I had the pakora was twenty three twenty three fifty, and my ice hot chocolate was six dollars fifty. One thing I've realized, I always find when a dish is twenty three dollars fifty is reasonable, but when you get an ice chocolate for six dollars fifty, I'm always thinking. Mm, a bit on the higher side because I'm thinking I can actually make this drink at home why am I paying six dollars fifty for it but you have to pay for the service you have to pay for the fact that someone else is making that drink so when it comes to parking not easy to find parking right in front of the cafe but I'm pretty sure because it's a suburban area you can find parking and it's going to be free parking I didn't like the fact that they had one toilet because that means if you go in there and you're taking your time it's like you're holding up other people who might want to go to the toilet anyway guys thank you so much for joining me today that's all I had for the day please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you like this kind of content please let me know down below in the comment section let me know what else you'd like to see any cafes or restaurants you'd like me to check out just let me know i'll see you guys next time